Prophetic Word, A Call to Arms, shared on September 9, 2021. Dear brothers and sisters, on June 21, 2021, the Lord gave me a very powerful vision. I considered it a personal one and really had no intention of sharing it publicly. However, the Holy Spirit has now spoken to me and asked me to share it with the body of Christ. When I asked the reason for doing so, he said that others in the body of Christ have received similar revelations and are wondering if they're from the Lord. And so by sharing my vision, it will serve as a confirmation to many others. Vision. While I spent intimate time with Father in our secret place, reading his word, praying, conversing, and asking many questions such as my habit of doing, Suddenly, it felt as if he had hit a rewind button of my life. When the player stopped, the vision began. The first thing I noticed was myself wearing these highly ornate garments. My fancy attire was more grandiose than any queen could have ever worn here on earth. I had this feeling I belonged in the heavenly courts. I lived there. I was standing in Father's throne room in front of him. To my right, also facing me, was my beloved Savior, Jesus. I had been summoned into this heavenly room upon Father's request. While this vision took place, it felt as if I had been transported to the exact moment in time this occurred, and I was engulfed with emotions. I knelt and carefully listened to what was being said, and I just wept and wept. Although no words were spoken, Father and I were conversing through the Spirit. He was sharing his desire to send me on my end-time assignment. As I stood there, I had exact knowledge of the rundown of events and all the obstacles I would have to overcome while on this mission. I understood that once on earth I would not remember about this meeting with Father, but all would come back to me at God's appointed time. I felt overwhelmed by the events I'd been shown, and I questioned whether I was going to be able to succeed. But one glance over at Father, and I could feel his overpowering confidence in me. Father communicated to me that he had no doubt I would be successful. I looked over at Jesus, and his soft smile sealed my fate, and my anti-mission vision ended. And here we are. Many of us can attest to having been called out of the Babylonian church system and have been offered and accepted the same challenge. We have embraced the teachings of the Holy Spirit and trained hard, having been subjected through fiery trials in order to be refined, shaped for service, made into empty vessels ready to be filled with God's glory and be sent out into the harvest fields. Hallelujah! May Father's will be done in our lives. We are God's witnesses, and although we have different assignments, we've all been given the same spirit and been led in unity to one truth. As things around the world continue to spiral out of control, we know deep in our hearts that our moment is almost here. In the meantime, we continue to be still in Father's presence and be taught by Him. Our bodies, now overcome by the curse of this world, are more than ready to be redeemed into our transformed bodies, the ones that will not be affected by the hunger, thirst, heat, chemicals, and poisons of this world. When the Spirit of Truth will come anew, the glory of the latter temples will be far greater than the one of Solomon's temple. Solomon's temple, although completely saturated with greatness, covered in gold and fine fabrics, will fade in comparison to the glory that will be revealed in us. Furthermore, know that the reason for this transformation will be an act of love on Father's behalf, because without it we wouldn't be able to survive through the ordeals that are coming upon this earth and successfully bring in Father's harvest. We are the oil and the wine, the kings and the priests appointed for such a time as this. 
We are the vessels through which Father will manifest his miraculous powers to a wicked generation and by which he will also judge. For an account of two or more witnesses, every word will be established. But we will not go out in arrogance nor pride, but rather in love and humility, exercising the same qualities Jesus had while on earth, ready to serve in God's army, wash our brethren's feet, and lay our lives down for the gospel. While working alongside the Holy Spirit on this word, he highlighted these verses for me to share. Please take time to read each one and to pray over this word. Understand that the mission we're on is critical, and as such we must finish off a rigorous training with full knowledge of the weapons we have been given, disciplined in our wills and bodies. Soon we'll be called to arms to take our positions. Be ready to answer the call. Stand guard. Be careful, keep calm, don't be afraid. Our Commander-in-Chief, Jesus Christ, will be leading us all the way through his victory. John 13, 1 It was just before Passover feast. Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he now showed them the full extent of his love. John 13, 3 to 5. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with a towel that was wrapped around him. John 14, verses 10, and then 12 to 14. Don't you believe that I am in the Father, and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you are not just my own. Rather, it is the Father li living in me who is doing his work. I tell you the truth. Anyone who has faith in me will do what I've been doing. He will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father and I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. John 14, verse 30 I will not speak with you much longer, for the Prince of this world is coming. He has no hold of me, but the world must learn that I love the Father, and that I do exactly what my Father has commanded me. John fourteen sixteen, You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Jeremiah 1, 5 Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. John fifteen eighteen, If the world hates you, keep in mind that he hated me first. If you belong to the world, it will love you as its own. As it is, you don't belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Revelation 11.10 The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and will celebrate by sending each other gifts because these two prophets had tormented those who live on the earth. Daniel 11.44 but reports from the east and the north will alarm him, and he will set out in a great rage to destroy and annihilate many. Daniel 12, 7b When the power of the holy people has been finally broken, all these things will be completed. Revelation 10, 7 But in the days when the seventh trumpet is about to sound his trumpet, the mystery of God will be accomplished just as he announced to his servants the prophets. John 15, 24 If I had not done among them what no one else did, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have seen these miracles, and yet they have hated both me and my father. John 15, 27 
and you must also testify, for you have been with me from the beginning. Isaiah 41, 4 Who has done this and carried it through, calling forth the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, with the first of them, and with the last, I am He. Romans 8, 23 We ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. Haggai 2, verses 3, and then 6 to 9. Who of you is left who saw this house in its former glory? This is what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while, I will once more shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all nations, and the desired of all nations will come. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord Almighty. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, declares the Lord Almighty. The glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty.